Anti-violence groups are trying to grapple with the increasing gun violence they're seeing, especially amongst teens. That's why this group here today is meeting to discuss ways they can intervene and help curb crime plaguing so many communities. It's too much going on in the world. You need stable people with stable ideas, with stable comments and direction to help some of them get through, get through this tragedy that we're living in right now. Male mentors with the organization I Am a Gentleman serving upwards of 400 young men ages 13 to 21 each year in the Chicagoland area are having a meeting of the minds today to figure out ways to address growing gun violence. Learning about different perspectives, what other individuals think we could be doing to, again, I'll say further the agenda in terms of helping the youth in the city of Chicago. This gathering happening at the end of a week where we saw at least five children shot, and that was on Tuesday alone. So far this year, at least 17 juveniles have been shot in Chicago. Of those 17, four have died. These mentors stepping in, as Eric Burgess says, many of the problems we are seeing stem from a lack of male figures for teens to look up to. Pressure is on the younger and younger, and now you have little boys trying to be grown men getting grown grown people results. This is why you got people dying. This is why you have no no way of controlling them. And they're they're pretty much a lost a lost cause at this point unless we reach them. Every time we start a new season of mentoring, we have um, a waiting list. So we want to make sure that we can serve more young men so that that waiting list can come down because it shows us that because they're on the waiting list, they want to do something better. They want to do something different with their lives. Organizers say one on one mentorship is key, showing that one child consistency and presence in their lives. One, one at a time, you know, one conversation, one situation at a time. Um, if you can save one, you can save a block. In Oaklawn, Stephanie Wade, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.